Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and remember, with the update that we've received on Patch Tuesday this week, you might notice, if you're on 23H2, that 24H2 is now showing up on the Windows updates. So once again, uh, this is something that uh, is starting to be pushed uh, and forced on people on 23H2. And because the updates that were on Patch Tuesday uh, had some of the big the bug fixing updates of January that actually removed blockers, uh, like the HDR problems and the audio problems that was also on USB devices and so on. Uh, this means that uh, there's a uh, percentage of you guys that um, maybe a good chunk of you guys that might now be seeing the uh, famous 24H2 update going on Windows Update. So that might be this week the time where you'll see it appear on your system. Um, eventually, you know, it will be pushed to everybody since uh, 23H2 will have end of support coming uh, this fall. 24H2 will be the new one to get. And uh, the uh, 25H2, of course, will be coming this fall. Uh, the good news is that, um, you know, with these fixes, 24H2 seems to be pretty stable now. Um, most people that are on 24H2 are okay. Uh, if you didn't have any of the blockers and if you didn't have any uh, thing unusual, uh, technically you should be uh, moving on. And uh, I think it's going to be fine. Um, a lot of people are scared still because a lot of people are getting all the bad rep of uh, 24H2. Uh, but technically, if there's no blockers, it's because it's safe to update and it should be okay uh, for most of you. So uh, don't be surprised if uh, a restart is required for some reason and you find out that that restart, well, means you'll be at 24H2. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.